Now we shall see the working of a Cochrane boiler. Coal is fed into the grate through the fire hole and burnt. Ash formed during burning is collected in the ash pit provided just below the grate and then it is removed manually. The hot gases from the grate pass through the flue pipe to the combustion chamber. The hot gases from the combustion chamber flow through the horizontal fire tubes and transfer the heat to the water by convection. The flue gases coming out of the fire tubes pass through the smoke box and are exhausted to the atmosphere through the chimney. Smoke box is provided with a door for cleaning the fire tubes and smoke box. There are various mountings fitted to the boiler. The first one is the pressure gauge. This indicates the pressure of the steam inside the boiler. There are normally two water gauges fitted over each boiler. The water gauge indicates the level of water in the boiler. The water level in the boiler should not fall below a particular level. Otherwise, the boiler will be overheated and the tubes may burnt out. Next is the safety wall. The function of the safety wall is to prevent an increase of steam pressure in the boiler above its normal working pressure. The next mounting is the steam stop wall. It regulates the flow of steam supply to the requirements. Flow of cock. It is located at the bottom of the boiler. When the blow of cock is opened during the running of the boiler, the high pressure steam pushes or drains out the impurities like mud, sand, etc. in the water collected at the bottom. Fusible plug. It protects the fire tubes from burning when the water level in the boiler falls abnormally low.